What is going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a quick review. Yeah, that never turns out the way that I plan. On a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Now, I was really preemptively excited about this device just because of the original Gen 3 that I got. I really enjoyed it a lot. The only real problem I had with the Gen 3 was the faceplate just got entirely too hot for what it is. It's a very compact triple battery 18650 box mod. I still have yet to see another triple battery that's as small as that. Well, I guess they went ahead and made it in a dual battery configuration because a lot of people like that, including myself. So... I picked one up. Now you think that they would take that situation and make it a dual 2700 just because that's kind of the new fad and the new situation that all mods are going to are 2700s. Just because you get that much more battery life and it's not really that big of a difference of a battery. I'm hoping that they fix the screen issue and the whole front face plate getting hot. It is still a compact device and it's just as small if not smaller than the triple battery as far as dimensions are concerned. Yo, know, Wismet gets a lot of shit. That whole shit that went down with the RX 200 and the threading it was just coming out it wasn't holding in and then they changed it on the gen 3 and just built it into the mod I guess that was just alleviating all of the problems but I think that their name was so tarnished because of what happened with the 200 and I think that happened with the RX 23 not a hundred percent sure there was just an immense amount of issues where people had 510s flying out what we're gonna be talking about today again there's really not a whole lot to go over and I'm not gonna go over the menu of this just because it's the exact same situation as gen 3 just with dual battery so this is the device right here. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wismec is the same company that owns Joytech and eLeaf. I don't really know how that's applicable to this whole situation, but I figured I'd just drop a little bit of knowledge on you. So without further ado, let's flip it. Wismec Relo RX Gen 3 Dual. Now, what this is supposed to be is this but a dual battery rendition. Again, this is a device that I really, really enjoyed very thoroughly. The only problem I really had was how hot this front face plate was getting. Now, I'm not quite sure if Wismec is running out of ideas that they're just taking older products and trying to cut them down and make them that much smaller. So Wismec on the top. On the side, we have some really cool bullet points. Colorful, compact, and output. Designed by Jay, but I'm not quite sure if Wismec has him on payroll and everything that Wismec designs goes through him or he does actually play a huge role in making the devices with Wismec. I will tell you this though, usually when you're talking about Jay Bo devices, he puts his name like on the buttons, sometimes they're on the door. You can find them kind of sprinkled in all over the mod. So on the back of this device, your baseball card stat sheet, everything that's included, color configuration will be on the top, and then you have a scratch and sniff. This is gonna be very simple. A marinated meatball bubble gum is what we're working with. No matter what you do, no matter how you scratch this, how you lick it, it's always gonna taste the same. The consistency is pinpoint on this. I'm not quite sure if Gordon Ramsay had something to do with this, but they nailed it. As soon as you open this up, you're gonna be presented with this card that is basically gonna tell you that if you have a battery with torn casing or torn wrap to replace it or rewrap the battery. Couldn't agree with that any more than what it says on the card. Oddly enough, there is a very awkward compartment down here on the bottom. I'm not quite sure if this is supposed to be for a tank or a whole kit because this is the part that houses the mod. And then when you take this off, have a whole nother section. Micro USB, we've seen these before, they don't need an introduction. And then you get a very, very vast manual. Nice manual, uh, no QC pass, no other information on the inside of this. Just really a manual is all you get. Some nice pooping material. Now in a side-by-side -side comparison, they do look to be exactly the same height. It really is a smaller rendition of the triple battery. That's good. I'm telling you, that's good. That's nice. That's nice. Marisa, it is truly a little brother of the three battery rendition. Of course, running into a two battery configuration versus three, you're going to be able to run less wattage through this. However, I don't really know a lot of people that are going to use that kind of power with a device in general, whether that be the 300 watts or the 230 that's on this one. Exactly the same situation for the button configuration. Even the lips on the top up here are almost identical. Everything is literally the same situation. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to buy this 
device because it's super cute and super compact. This thing is dainty as shit. If you don't own a Gen 3, let me give you a better example. This is the Asmodus Mini Ken. This shape seems to be taken off a lot. I love this shape just because of the original Rebel 167. Just feels really good in the hand. Now we're looking at the Gen 2, which is much smaller than most mods that I've seen that are dual battery configurations. This almost looks like it would be a single battery configuration. I know a lot of people out there feel that the Icon by E-Leaf is the smallest dual battery device. I can confirm that this is smaller in the hand and is much more compact. Da -da -da -da, dancing on your face. On the bottom, you have some battery venting and then on the top for your 510, it looks like you can put a pretty large dripper on the top of there. So right off the jump, we're gonna go with a 26 and I'll be a monkey's pickle. Would you look at that? Wow, I have a feeling. I have a feeling inside of my soul. 30 millimeter, shut it up, shut it down. Zero overhang with a 30 millimeter on that small of a mod. I don't know what it is with China lately, but they're impressing me. I joy Capo 216. Wizmec Gen 2, are you kidding me right now? So you can see a 30 millimeter fits with absolutely zero overhang. Good job, Wizmec. High five, give it up top. Boom, nailed it. What we run into is an issue down here on the bottom of the door. There's nothing to grab to pull this off and to unlock it. Get in there and push and then flip it up. Hinge, zero play, zero. I mean, that doesn't move at all. Battery orientation is also gonna be listed on the top, one and two plus a negative. You guys are going to be seeing me use this mod a lot in reviews. There it is, locked in. I think another one of the problems I ran into with the original Gen 3 is the screen was a little difficult to see, and this is just in the same. As beautiful as that is, and as beautiful as that feels, it has to be one of the smallest mods that I've seen dual battery come from China, and it feels really nice in the hand. It does have a little bit of weight, but being that it's so compact, that is a stealthy dual battery box mod. There's no doubt about it. Can't believe this, that it's this small and it actually works. Wizmec RX Gen 3 dual battery situation. One of the smallest dual battery box mods that come out of China, without a doubt. Let's bring it on the top. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we are back on the top with the Garden Gnome by Wismec. Absolutely dainty ass piece. Again, this is the Gen 3 dual with the warhead on the top. Seems fitting, doesn't it? It almost looks awkward because the 30 millimeter is almost as large as the mod. I have no words. I do have a custom drip tip in there when you remember I did that with the white drip tip, was not a huge fan. But let me show you some of the vape production. We are pumping out some serious power here. You don't ever see me vape like this, but 101 watts, here we go. Jesus Christ! I feel like we need more power. I feel like I either need to cut down this airflow or I gotta call somebody on the phone that I know loves me because, wow, let's go crazy, right? Like, let's just do this. One, one, five, here we go. You know what I noticed? Oh, almost fell over. I don't know what it is, but I feel like China's trying to taint my whole memory on this whole situation of their devices because the Capo, I was hoping to break it. The Gen 3, I wasn't so much concerned with breaking it just because I don't really have that bad experience that a lot of people have and that bad taste in their mouth. Not from the juice, but from the company. Unless you got bad taste in your mouth from other things, which is self-explanatory. You know, watch what you're putting in your mouth. I can't remember the last time I was this impressed with the device. This front plate still gets warm, but it doesn't get as hot as the Gen 3 does. And I'm putting a lot of power through this. This is not a device that I have to use for a plethora amount of time to figure out whether or not I'll like this device. I will tell you this. There's no doubt in my mind that you're going to see reviews and you're going to see me using this device in that. What they need to change on this to make it that much better is be able to change the brightness of the screen. Entirely too dark. Same situation with the Gen 3. You couldn't see what the hell you were doing unless you were vaping in the dark. And I, I mean, I know it's dark all around where I'm at now, but at night it gets even darker. Also, the battery door is a bit of a hassle. I'm not gonna sit here and say that you can't open it, cause you can, but put some little grippy jammies on there. You know, how difficult would it be to take some kind of utilitarian 
piece of machinery and just put a couple notches in it so you could grab it and flip it open. Then again, on the same token, I really don't know how much you're going to be opening this to change out the batteries of this. Either way, this is a solid device. I mean, I can't honestly tell you any more flaws than what we have. Everybody knows this menu by now. It's in 95% of Wismex products from the past year and a half. I do know that Arctic something where is something that people put on their devices. I'm not quite sure if you could do it with this. Basically, it allows you to change the menu, and Joytech obviously doesn't want you to do that because it voids the warranty, but you're able to flash it back, I think. There's a lot of assumptions. Him. There's a lot of assumptions that I'm making that I'm not really 100% sure on, but I am sure on how this device feels, how it hits. It gets a little toasty but it's compact as shit, so I wouldn't expect anything else. How would I rate this device on a zero to 10? <sighs> Obviously, I'm not gonna give it a nine. You know, nine, you gotta really knock my socks off and take off my shoes and put my laces back in. With that being said, I'm gonna give this a 7.5 to an eight. Really, the only thing that I would change on this is the damn screen. Also, would have been really badass if you made this a dual 2700, but I get the idea between it being the Gen 3 dual rendition. Sort of like what they did with the RX23, how you can run it with a two battery or three battery if they're doing the same situation again. And I hope Wismet isn't running out of options to where they're just taking old devices and modifying them in such a way to where now it's a different mod. I get it, they're not taking Gen 3s and making them duals, but they're using kind of the same mold, which makes absolutely no sense. It's either you you are or you aren't. Either way, it's a really good device. I mean, a 7.58, and that's on a low end of scale. I would really like to go 8.5, but they need to change the screen to make it brighter. They need to figure out what it is with this chip as to why it gets so fucking hot. You know what's also helping out this rating a lot is the fact that it can support a 30 millimeter. I can literally show you a triple 2700 mod right now. Triple that can't even use a 30 millimeter. Maybe these companies need to get with Wismec and figure out, hey, man, how you doing that draw? Can I see your drawing? I'll give you some treats if you let me see what you're working with. Some schematics, some blueprints, something. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, when I did the review on this device, I really liked it as well. This is a triple 2700 by iJoy. Take a look at that overhang. This is the thing where the door can't close all the way. But I really liked it because I liked how compact it was and how hard it hit. You take something like this that can't use a 30 millimeter and it's using really large batteries, then you take this dainty fuck and it can house 30 mils all day. We're gonna do the, uh, the shake test. I forgot about doing this. Basically what I do is I hold it out and I kind of shake it about to see if the battery door gives out. Remix, ramen, who's trying? Here we go, ready? It's so small, I can't. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like saying, let's flip it a hundred times. Here we go. No dice, not coming out. Hands down, the best Wismec device that Joytech has made. There's not a doubt in my mind. Primo Mini is really high up there as well, but that's a single battery, more of a small compact device. But for a dual battery, I honestly can't tell you another Chinese dual battery, aside from the Tesla Wii, that I feel is better than this device. It is solid. I'm going to tell you right now, don't get this and think it's going to weigh as much as a paperclip and a fishbone. That's not going to be the situation here. It does have a little bit of weight, but it's definitely worth the price point that it's at. I highly recommend it. I know a lot of people have issues with smoke and no matter what someone will say about a smoke product, a lot of people will be naysayers just because of all the problems that they had and they kind of built that reputation on problems and, and being founded by problems. Same thing kind of happened with Wismec and I hope this really does redeem themselves as much as I don't think a lot of people are going to go out there and go buy this because there's not a lot of hype around it. But I will tell you, hands down, if you like the original Gen 3 with the triple 18650s, you're going to love this device. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, he's out.